Hey everybody, Paul here, back with Hyrule Warriors. In the last episode, we did the Sorceress of the Woods. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Sorceress of the Valley. And we are going to be using Lana. Now, we could also probably use Sheik, because her harp is also good for this. But I want to try out Lana. So, let's go with the only weapon that she has right now. The leader of the Resistance in Farron Woods was a young sorceress named Lana. She was of the same clan as Sia, who had summoned the monsters to Hyrule. Lana had been fighting Sia's army since it arrived. Sia now sought to complete the Triforce and use it to conquer Hyrule. Link and Impa decided to join forces with Lana to prevent further tragedy. Although the monsters of Farron Woods had been defeated, Sia still controlled most of Hyrule. Every day, more creatures appeared and swarmed the land. Link and Impa fought on against the darkness, sorely missing Zelda's leadership. Only one solution remained, stem the tide of monsters by closing the Gate of Souls. The heroes headed to the Valley of Seers to put an end to the bloodshed. Ooh, this sounds like it's going to be crazy. So you know what? Let's get started. <laughs> so this is Lana. She's one of the new characters who uses a spell book. So far, seems pretty cool. So far, I think she's my least favorite of all of them. That's not a bad thing, though. Because all the other ones are really good. Okay, that was pretty cool right there. So, let's go capture some bases real quick. Let's capture this one. Maybe we'll want to start trying to actually hit them. <laughs> so yeah, we're back again, you guys. And this is four episodes now. We're getting further into this game. And I'm liking it ever more. <laughs> I just wish I knew how to to some of Lana's attacks, cause, eh, she's okay. I mean, I figured out some stuff like this, and then doing that, which is pressing Y, X, and then X again, which is pretty good. I mean, she's a spellcaster, I guess. Let's do that. Okay. So, almost captured this one so far. And then we'll go capture those two up there. Uh, there's the keep boss. Okay, we got this one. And I'm gonna keep it on bombs right now. Uh, just because I like the bombs better than the arrows. Because the bombs actually can do damage. And we have a new enemy here. Uh, Dark Nut who are pretty cool looking, um, to be honest. And, oh! I like that, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go capture this keep right now. Um, Bemos. Uh, stone statues called Bemos attack with powerful beams once they spot you. Bemos are extraordinarily tough, so normally attacks will be ineffective. Some, uh, find some means of attacking Bemos. Okay, well. Is there anything like any of their other counterparts? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> so, the only way to beat them is with bombs. So, I'm glad I kept bombs on right now, because that's the only way to beat them. Bam! It's a fun attack, actually. And 
Bam! Keep bosses here now. So let's get rid of him. Ooh! What are we getting? It looks like we're getting a new weapon. That's awesome. I know I say awesome a lot, but because I like saying the word, it's it's in, it's a good word. I'd rather have things be awesome than terrible. But yeah, I'm really liking this game, you guys. I <laughs> um, the last episode of this that came out, I recorded it the same day as this episode, so that's. That's how you know I've really wanted to play this game, and that's why, uh, if you didn't notice, I haven't really done anything on the last part. Well, not like on the last part, but like um, in like the last scenario when I was doing this one, because I just wanted to get further into the story already, so I can play it more than just like two or three areas uh, during my free time. But yeah, I'm I'm liking this game a lot. I hope you guys like it too. Okay, let's get rid of that BMO. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I hope you guys like this game and are curious to want to get it, or even just keep watching because you know what. It's a great game. Whether you like... Oh, uh, no. I guess you, you have to like Legend of Zelda or Dynasty Warriors, really, to want to play this game. Which, I, honestly, I don't know, but I would think there would be more Legend of Zelda fans than there are Dynasty Warriors fans, but I could c be completely wrong. No, because... Oh, God, we have to go help him real quick. Let's go help Impa. Oh god, she's gonna die soon. Those are going down, hopefully. I don't know. I need to go save Impa. Okay, I saved you, Impa, now. Now love me, Impa. Okay. Okay, let's try to take out Volga real quick. Because he's annoying. Yes. You know what? Why don't we try it out? Yeah, let's try this out. Let's see what her special is. Oh! That was actually pretty cool. God, there's so many characters that we have to deal with. Volga's almost dead. Come on, almost. Almost. She's so close. Okay, well, I got rid of the Dark Nut. Now, just Volga. Which should be pretty easy. That was pretty easy. Um, and yeah, I think good thing we did that because it looks like the engineer is coming through this way. Um, and it looks like a bunch of enemies are coming through this way as well. So let's see if we can if we can't just take some out right now. Okay. Wait, wait Dark Knight. Oh, okay, so Impa's morale is uh, up now that we defeated uh, Volga. Okay. 
Engineer, can you just go? Why do you have to fight? We got this covered. Engineer, go away. <laughs> do your job. Okay. Uh, maybe if we get rid of more guys. And bam! And we'll just kill it. Yes. There goes the Dark Knight. I don't know why they're called Dark Knights. I guess I would have to learn about them more. But, yeah. It's a weird name. There we go. Okay, really? Can you just go already? You got this covered. Especially me. I can take out like 20 of these guys like in two minutes. Okay, cool. We got another weapon. Great. I can't wait till uh, we get a lot of weapons and can like make some really cool combinations. That's gonna be really good. I just want that engineer to go away finally. But he won't. I want here, here, engineer. Go away. Okay, good. Finally, he's walking. Let's wait for him over here, and we'll take out some of these guys. Oh wow, I'm surprised this area is not taken over yet. Okay, come on. Yes, there's one Dark Knight down. Come on, come on, come on. And two Dark Knights down. And they got the bridge down. Good. So now we can go that way. Let's, let's start heading over there. See what's over there. Um, obviously some more Dark Nuts. Because we can't get enough Dark Nuts. Uh, Steos is actually pretty good. Oh, and we've already killed a thousand enemies, so... Yep, there's a... Oh, great. Now summoners have appeared. Oh, well. Uh, we can't deal with that yet. We have to go get the <laughs> Skulchula. So, let's go. Come on. Summoners are capable of spawning new units. They will continue spawning units until they are defeated, so make their defeat priority. No. I know what I want to make priority right now. And that's getting the Skulchula that's over here first. Then I'll take them out. Yeah, no problem, but right now, no. I need the Skulltula. Okay, let's listen. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That was actually a really easy one. And while we're here... So we got a new illustration piece. Oh, here, let's just take this area. Who knows, maybe we might find something actually decent here. I know we didn't find anything with Sheik last time, and we never really find anything in the Let's Plays, but... You know what? Maybe this will be different. I mean, I already almost have the key. Oh, wow, well, yeah, I'm already at the keep boss. And we got the... nothing. Okay. Well, that was a waste. Not really, I mean, we caught another area. I mean, I guess we're gonna have to save Sheik, too. So let's do this. And... That was pretty good. And let's try out this as well. this out too. Oh, that was pretty cool, actually. 
Okay, let's go. Okay. Now, let's head back over that way so we can get... Oh, no, the summoners are out already. Okay. Let's kill the summoners then. Okay, he's dead now. And we defeated the summoner here, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't see him anywhere. I don't think that's him down there. At least I don't think so. Hopefully I'm wrong. Um, most likely I am, because I'm pretty sure we just defeated the summoner. So, I want to keep uh, get this outpost real quick. Okay. Oh, let's see if there's anything over here. Anything, just a normal chest. And you know what? Why not get some extra rupees? That'll be helpful later on. Um, and see is at the summit, which we can't actually get to yet because of those things. And I still don't know how we're going to be getting rid of those. Hopefully we'll know soon, though. How are we supposed to cut down the vine walls? Maybe there's a weapon we need to get? Oh, of course they open up that as soon as I... Okay. Oh god, I did not see that there. Okay. Let's just get the eastern room. So we can hopefully get something from here. Okay, keep boss now. Yay! But nothing. Great. Um, we have one more place to try, and let's try that just because we can. And let's skip out on all you guys. And let's take down the BMO first because I don't want to die. Or get hit at least. So far I think I'm doing pretty good on this game. Then again I'm still in the beginning and I don't know how long this game actually is. I've heard it's estimated about 10 hours. So honestly I think it's going to be about like 20 or 21 parts. Just like uh, I'm pretty sure Pirate Warriors 2 is going to be. So that's not too bad. I mean, uh, one person I'm watching right now, Teal Game Master, he has a game on there. Then again, it's a really long game that I know. Uh, it's Persona 4. He's already at 44 parts. And he's not done yet. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, uh-oh. How come I can't get out? <gasps> Ooh! Chest sighted. What's in here? Is this a heart piece? You got a boomerang. It stops enemies in their tracks, plus it comes back when you throw it, just like a boomerang should. <laughs> so yeah, I guess we got a new weapon. Oh, that's actually really cool looking. Um, I'll break through the vine walls in a second. I want to do something real quick. Yeah, so I don't know where the heart piece is then. I guess it's like a what like a lot of the other ones are what I've had to do was uh, destroy them not destroy them uh, like destroy boulders and stuff like that but I've not seen any boulders lately oh yeah so it it, uh, it looks like it stuns them for a tiny bit Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go towards, um, 
teleport to see it now. Yay, now we can get through this area. So let's cut down the vine wall so we can go get Sia. And hopefully end this. So we got an outpost captain. Let's just take care of him first. And now we can go up here. Oh wow, and that looks scary. So don't we need to use that on because I accidentally did that again. So now we have two guys that uh, we have two bosses in a row now. Great. Um Let's just capture this area first. Uh, uh oh. That's not good. Um, let's. I'm almost done with this place. So, I can take this and then I can get right back over there and help them out and actually defeat them. Um, keep boss, keep boss, there you are. Ooh, we got another treasure chest, but it looks like it's just... Yeah. Okay, so now let's run over to get Manhandler. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, material. It's really good to pick up materials just because you never know which ones you might need. And there's Manhandler. Okay, good. Oh, let's attack this now. Come on, come on, I can get a lot of damage on this, can I? Nope. Got two. There's one more left. Oh, okay, I guess I got them all, technically. Okay, let's just get a really good hit in there. So yeah, she seems really good, and by she I mean Lana. And it looks like we have to find Manhandler somewhere else. Uh, where could he have gone, or where could it have gone? So it looks like we have to defeat all the little heads that have just popped up. So let's go after this one. Got one. Got, I'm about to get two. Got two. Three in about one second right now. And two more left. We can do this, you guys. We're almost done. Oh, no, he's gonna pop up 
right near us. But he's almost halfway. Okay, come on. There we go. So now he sh we should be able to attack. And let's go into our focus spirit mode. So we can get a lot of damage on him. And let's finish off with this. Okay. So we should only need one more time around. And that should kill him. Oh god, we're almost dead. Uh, we should be able to last out a little bit longer. Come on. Okay, come on, I can do this, I know I can. I'm gonna die, aren't we? Okay, come on, come on. Come on, almost there. Come on, is this gonna kill him? Please tell me it's gonna kill him. Yes, it killed him. And that's the end of that. And that's the end of this place. That was really close, though. Almost a little bit too close. Sia had already claimed the Triforce of Power. From Link, she stole the Triforce of Courage. The Triforce of Wisdom was the birthright of the royal family of Hyrule. Yet Sheik bore it when Sia attacked. 
Once Sia possessed all the pieces of the Triforce, she used its incredible power to bend time and space and open doorways through the ages. Portals to three eras appeared. Lana explained to the others that a gate of souls had been opened in each of these eras, and it was through these gates that the monsters came. By opening these gates, Sia had released the fragment of evil spirit imprisoned in each of the other eras. The task before the heroes was therefore to travel through each portal and close its gate. Once all the gates were closed, they could begin repairing the damage Sia had inflicted on their land. With time growing short, Link and his allies split up to handle all three gates simultaneously. They each vowed to close their gate and return safely. Wow. What exposition. We have a lot of rupees now. Oh, cool, so we got the Deku Spear. A branch from the Great Deku Tree, imbued with its power, uses a strong attack button to plant Deku Tree saplings, which will quickly sprout and knock back enemies. Awesome. So we got that. We got another Spirit's Tomb. We got Goddess's Harp. And we got another Knight Sword. We got Large Dark Nut Sword. Volga's Helmet. Manhandle is Toxic Dust. A few pieces of Dark Nut Armor. And some more old rags. And we got another piece of the illustration. I can't wait till we finish this illustration. It's gonna look cool. Oh, wow. So it looks like we have three options. We have Land of Myth, Land of Twilight, and Land in the Sky. I don't know which one I want to do next, so I want you guys to decide. Should I do Land of Myth, Land of Twilight, or Land in the Sky? Tell me in the comments down below. I hope you watch, like, and comment on this video. And hopefully you subscribe to my channel, because I'm going to be doing this regularly now. Well, regularly as in Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm going to be having two. So I hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. See you next time, guys. Bye.